Welcome to a new tutorial of the URL for pesticide residues in fruits and vegetables on the guidelines of the EU SANTE AQC document, which has again been prepared by Professor Antonio Valverde and myself, Carmen Ferrer. On this occasion, we will analyze the guidelines included in the current version of the document of SANTE 11.312.2021 on the procedures and minimum quality criteria required when preparing and replacing the standards used in the analysis. These guidelines are included in section F entitled Pesticide Standards, Stock Solutions and Calibration Standard Solutions and form the subsection testing and replacement of standards. In particular, the minimum quality criteria required for the preparation of standards are specified in points F8, F9 and F10 of the document, which literally state the stability of an existing and possibly expired reference standard may be checked by preparing a new stock standard and comparing the detector responses. The comparison should be undertaken using appropriate dilutions of individual standards or mixtures of standards. The means from at least five replicate measurements for each of two solutions, old and new, should not normally differ by more than plus minus 10%. The mean value from the new solution is taken to be 100% and is also used as the basis for the calculation of the percentage difference. The variability of at least five replicate injections expressed as repeatability RSDR should also be taken into account. When starting to use a new reference standard, before the expiry date of the old standards has been reached, we should prepare two stock solutions for both the old and the new standard with exactly the same or very similar nominal concentration, see old, and see new. And then we should dilute both solutions equally so that the concentration of the diluted standards is exactly the same or very similar and within the optimal linearity range of the detector response. Finally, both diluted solutions shall be injected five times into the chromatograph and detector system used, alternating the injections of the old and the new standard solution. In this way, five detector responses, which could be areas or heights, are obtained for the old standard solution and five for the new standard solution. With this data, we can calculate the mean values of the responses obtained for each standard, a old and a new, and the corresponding values of the coefficients of variation, CV old and CV new, and check whether or not they meet the criteria established in points F9 and F10 of the SANTE document. But how can we verify that the relative difference of the mean values is less than 10% taking into account the values of the coefficients of variation? According to the Codex guidelines and to the conclusions published by Ambrose et al. in 2017, the appropriate statistical test to verify that the absolute value of the difference of the means is less than a critical value, which in our case would be 10%, is the so-called two-one-sided t-test or TOST. The application of this statistical test is laborious and really unfeasible to carry out routinely. However, Fortunately, Ampros and collaborators demonstrated that by applying the two one sided t test, the TOS test, a very well defined linear relationship between the maximum value of the weight coefficient of variation, CVP, and the absolute value of the relative difference of the means, delta RD, is given. In the particular case of five injections of each standard, and considering a confidence level of 95%, the linear relationship established is as shown in the graph. Taking into account this equation, the verification of the criteria established in the SANTE document can be carried out quickly and easily. To do this, from the detector responses obtained for the five injections of each standard, we first have to calculate the absolute value of the relative difference of average responses in percentage, that is the delta RD, 
which can be calculated as uh, 100 minus the quotient of the mean value of the responses of the old standards, the A old, and the new standard, the A new, and multiplied by 100. In case the nominal concentration of the old standard, the C old, is not exactly equal to that of the new standard, of the C new, the value of the mean response of the old standards, A old, has to be multiplied by the quotient of the nominal concentrations of the new and the old standard, since it is the new standard that is taken as the basis, as the reference. In addition, we have to calculate the weight value of the coefficients of variation obtained for the responses of both patterns, the CVP, by taking the square root of the mean of the squares of the two coefficients of variation, the CV old and the CV new. However, a very approximate value of CVP can be obtained and valid for the intended purpose simply as the arithmetic mean of both coefficients of variation, that is CV old plus CV new divided by two. Finally, it is sufficient to check whether the weight coefficient of variation obtained, the CVP, is greater or less than the maximum value, max CVP, defined by the linear equation established by Ambrose et al. for a value of the relative difference of the means equal to that obtained, the delta RD in percentage. In other words, if the point defined by the values obtained for delta RD and CVP is above the acceptance line established by Ambrose et al., it cannot be affirmed with 95% of confidence that the relative difference in the means of the responses obtained from five injections for, of both standards, the old and the new, is between plus minus 10%. In other words, and as Ambrose et al. have pointed out in their publication, if we assume that the typical value of the coefficient of variation of the responses of five consecutive injections in an LCMSMS system is around 2%, the maximum value allowed for the relative difference of the mean responses of the two standards, the old and the new, would be 7.67. Therefore, we can conclude that in order to comply with the criteria established in the AQC Sante document for the verification of standards, with a 95% of confidence and five injections of both standards, the relative differences of the means of the responses of the old and the new standards must be lower than those indicated in this table. For example, 8.84% when the repeatability of the detector response is 1%, or 7.67% for repeatabilities of 2%, or 6.51% for repeatabilities of 3%, and so on, down to values as small as 0.7% for repeatability values as high as 8%. And this is all. Many thanks for your attention.